What are y'all doing? What you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today's video is going to be a quick Thrive Market haul. I've been loving Thrive Market, especially with quarantine and everything going on because I can just order stuff and it gets shipped straight to my door. I will of course have the link for Thrive Market down below. It's just a referral link, not sponsored, not affiliate. Um, and you'll just get a little bit of a discount if you want to try it out. But before I pull everything out, I wanted to show you kind of how it's packaged, although not really, cause you can clearly see I pretty much dove into the box already because I wanted to try my new supplements as soon as they came in. But everything is completely recyclable. Here's this, although it's upside down. Let me move to the other side. Um, 100% recyclable, shipped with a carbon neutral footprint. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and pull everything out and show you guys what I grabbed. Some things are new, got a couple supplements I'll tell you about, and some things are repeat purchases. And yeah, let's just get started. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button. I am kind of making a comeback on my YouTube channel but I typically do lifestyle vlogs surrounding like food, what I eat in a days and vegan stuff. And then I also have kind of the second part of my channel is all planning related. So hit the subscribe button, thumbs us up if you enjoyed it and want more grocery Thrive Market hauls. And yeah, let's dive into the box. All right, you guys, here is everything laid out. Also, there is someone working on a car in our driveway. So if you hear any kind of banging in the background, sorry about it. That's just what that is. So I guess I will just start over here with kind of my biggest purchase. I bought quite a few boxes of the gluten-free brown rice pasta. It's the organic Thrive Market brand. And I don't know if I've talked about it before on my channel. Last time I ate white pasta, I had a crazy reaction to it. Some gluten just bothers me more than others. Bread actually seems to be just fine. But for some reason, white pasta, like I can't even imagine trying to eat it again. It was awful. So I got some of the fasuli. I got some penne and then some of the shells. I thought the shells would be really good in like vegetable soup because colder weather is coming. So I thought that'd be great for that. And then these for, you know, spaghetti, regular pasta, whatever. So I got six boxes of brown rice pasta. Then I grabbed two bags of the dried organic mango. I love the organic dried mango from nuts.com, but since I was making a Thrive order, I saw this on there and my sister had actually sent me a photo of this exact brand for the dried mango and she said it was absolutely delicious. So I added two to my cart, figured they'd be a good snack to take on the road with me for um, right now for like work for extra money. I'm doing like food delivery. Um, and so I thought that would be just a good snack to have in my car with me. And then I grabbed two cans of organic pumpkin. I would have grabbed more, but they had it limited to only two cans, which I was kind of bummed because our stores have been sold out of canned pumpkin for the past, like, gosh, I don't know, two to three weeks. So I hope we get some more in, but grab two of those for, I mean, the puppies love pumpkin, but also like to bake with it and, you know, fall. So got two of those at least. And then I grabbed some of the Thrive Market oregano, two of these. We have like a big jug of dried oregano that is almost empty. So I figured instead of buying a, another like tub of it, I would just grab two of these and refill it. Oregano is actually one of my favorite like dried herbs to season stuff with. So happy to have that to refill our oregano. Then um, this was just kind of a random pick, organic whole cranberries. So like dried cranberries. Um, I thought these would just be good with fall. Same thing with the pumpkin seeds. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, you know, fall baking, um, oatmeal, I don't know, whatever you'd use dried cranberries for, maybe make a granola, that kind of thing. 
but I liked the ingredients on these. It is sweetened with apple juice. A lot of the ones I can find in our stores is A, they're not organic or they have like added sugar in them. And there we go. It does have a little bit of sunflower oil, but less than 1%. So I don't think that's a huge, huge issue. And then the pumpkin seeds, these were actually on sale. If I can find my like pricing, I think their prices kind of fluctuate a little bit. I'll try to add the prices on here for you. But I got these Go Raw Sprouted Organic Pumpkin Seeds with sea salt. Just two ingredients. Oh, down here. So organic sprouted pumpkin seeds and sea salt. So no added oil or anything like that. Again, with fall coming, I thought these would be good if I made like pumpkin muffins or something. I can put these on top, add a sprinkle into my oatmeal just to get some healthy fat in there. Pumpkin seeds are really good for you. And yeah, they were on a good deal. Also a good source of plant-based protein, nine grams of protein per serving. So wanted to go ahead and grab that. Again, I think the price was pretty good for organic pumpkin seeds. Then down here, you guys, these are my favorite dates I've tried so far. The Julie's California Superfood Organic Medjooled Dates. These ones are pitted. They have regular ones that are not pitted, but I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, always fresh, never dried. That's what I love about these. They are organic as well. They are soft enough where you can just take them right out of the box and eat them. They're not dr Excuse you, Polly girl. Polly just coughed over there. <laughs> um, what was I saying? They, yeah, so they're soft enough to just pull out and use it right away. You can eat them as a snack, chop them up super easily. And yeah, they're absolutely delicious. And I know you can get these on Thrive, obviously. And then um, I've seen them on Amazon or their website as well. But yeah, they're super delicious. I love using them in my little oatmeal breakfast cookies that I believe I've made on my channel before. So check out Julie's Dates if you have a hard time finding organic dates in your town, like me, small town probs. So yeah, highly, highly recommend it. And then these are a repurchase as well. These Ludenberg Organic Gluten-Free Whole Grain Puffed Grain Cakes Brown Rice Lightly Salted Rice Cakes. So I love these. I might open one for you to show you guys here in a second. But they come in like individual little packets and you get six like thin rice cakes. And they're delicious. They're a good snack. I love to spread, kind of like do avocado toast on these. Um, it's really good and eat it with some fruit. On this side, if I have a picture, I'll post it here of what I'm kind of talking about. Um, yeah, these are really delicious. They're, I know these are only $2.99 each and you have to order at least two. So I went with four because they're delicious and I go through them pretty quickly. All right, moving on over here. So I got some 100% pure Vermont organic maple syrup. It's the Thrive Market brand, 32 ounces. It's like a, you know, it's like a good sized jug of maple syrup. Maple syrup can be very expensive. The only place I've seen it priced better, I don't have a Costco, but I watch people's Costco hauls. And I think they have probably the best prices if you live near Costco and you're a member there. But I thought this wasn't too bad. I think it was $19.99, which sounds expensive, but I can only find like smaller jars and for like $10, $12. So I figured I would go ahead and grab this. That will probably be good for me throughout the rest of the fall season, maybe longer. I don't use it that often. And then one thing I just wanted to grab to have on hand is the Thrive Market Avocado Oil Spray. Again, I just wanted to have this on hand in case it's needed. Um, you guys know, or if you're new here, I try to avoid oil as much as possible, but sometimes depending on what you're cooking or if you're baking something and you need to spray a pan, you just need to spray a pan sometimes. <laughs> I know with my tofu scramble, sometimes the potatoes I use stick, so I might need to spray just a tiny bit of oil and I'd rather have like a good avocado oil on hand because in my opinion if you're gonna use oil go with avocado it's probably your best slash healthier option so that was all of my food items that I grabbed 
So I am well stocked, especially on my pasta for sure. And these dates will last me quite a bit. And then I grabbed two supplements. So I have taken ashwagandha on and off um, several different times and I was looking for it again. I kind of just like, when it comes to supplements, I kind of just go with how I feel and what I think my body needs at the time. And I found this brand, I don't know exactly how to say it, but it's like all organic, super natural. Um, and I was gonna get their ashwagandha, but I saw this adrenal health and it's actually a blend of, let me see if I can read it. Holy basil, that's what I was trying to think of. Actually, Rachel Hollis talked about holy basil, how it helps her calm down and help her anxiety and stuff. So I just felt like I needed some adrenal support, stress support in my life right now. So I've been taking this, it says take it every morning and you can also take two in the afternoon if needed. So I've just been taking two in the morning and yeah, it's only been maybe a week or so. This box has been sitting here for a while. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I'm enjoying having that back in my life. And then I wanted to try Valerian Root, which is sleep support. If you follow me on Instagram, you might already know I've been having terrible issues with my sleep and sleeping pattern. I've been averaging like barely four to five hours of sleep at night. And it also takes me a really long time to fall asleep. But this stuff is amazing. So it's completely natural. Valerian Root's been used for years yeah it honestly take two capsules one hour before bed and it, you literally kind of start to feel kind of like a benadryl fog if y'all have ever taken benadryl it literally like calms you down and makes you sleepy and you really want to like just lay down and go to sleep so it's definitely been helping me fall asleep faster which has been very nice i've been taking this again for about a week and I feel like that's going to be like a keeper in my life, especially until my sleep kind of figures itself out. So if you're having trouble sleeping, maybe give valerian root a try because it's 100% natural. I cannot do melatonin. It gives me crazy, like vivid psycho dreams and I can't do melatonin. So if you need an alternative to melatonin, give valerian root a try. So yeah, I think I've rambled on enough. This again is just a little pan over of everything that I got. And again, I will have Thrive Market linked down below with a referral link for a discount if you wanna give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, whatever day you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. You can I wanna do what you want to We can leave it